Hi, this is Mr. Wong with Wong Way Counseling, and today we're going to answer a simple question that my son asked me, and the question is, which is better, a CSU or a UC college? So, to clarify, we're talking about California State University College System versus the University of California College System. And so there are cost differences and various different things, but this is what I used to like to do when we did in-person counseling. Uh, I guess this would be before distance learning. Um, I would actually show them, hey, look at this neat thing you have on your internet, a thing called internet on your computer, which is um, you can type in and Google um, UC or CSU, California State Universities. California State Universities versus UCs, and let's see what Google has to say. One of the key differences between UCs and CSUs is their academic offerings. CSU is known for basing their courses and degrees programs on practical applications in non-research oriented careers. The CSU system awards mostly bachelor's degrees and does not offer as many advanced level degrees as UC. So a simple question, is UC or CSU better? While both the CSU and the UC systems are solid options for college, the UC schools are much more highly ranked and prestigious overall. So what does that mean? Um, typically it takes above a 4.0 to attend many, a majority of the UC systems. So if you're gonna go to Davis, <laughs> Uh, you're going to attend school with the majority of students who are top tier in their high school, which means very competitive. Um, I went to UC Davis. You're going to have typically larger classes um, and uh, a lot more research base as well. Um, UC Davis was a quarter system versus a semester system, so I feel it was much faster than, say, Sac State. Um, is UC Davis more expensive? And then CSUs, yes. The difference between UC and CSU goes beyond price. When choosing a university as a comparative factor, UC is significantly more expensive than CSUs. Because CSU is a state school, the, rep the reputation of UC schools are higher than, the UC than those of the CSU system. So this is a skewed understanding. So basically what they're saying is if you get a UC degree, then oftentimes you go to apply for a medical school or a secondary education like law school or you apply to a company that's extremely competitive they like to take the top students who got into the top schools because this shows them you this you pretty much probably the top uh, candidate although i know several students who went to top colleges and they were very lazy and they haven't been um, as successful. So, um, but overall, a lot of people, when you interview, they look at what college you go to. And if that's important to you, a lot of times you see stand out a little more than CSUs as far as rigor. What is the hardest CSU to get into? Are UCs and CSUs requirements the same? This is a good question. So as far as, although in most instances, the CSU and UC have fully aligned their basic requirements for eligibility for admissions, in some areas, CSU and UC will continue to have different requirement admission practices. This pattern, of course, is known as A through G. So if you type in A through G, it'll tell you which classes you need to take. They're pretty simple, and you most likely will meet them based on your high school graduation requirement. The difference are you need to have uh, typically uh, next level um, science so most students will take biology and chemistry um, you need to take at least math three you have to have two years of foreign language and you have a you have to have a year-long art so these are some of the basic a through g requirements um, that you can meet and once you meet a through g requirements those are the classes needed to get accepted to both ucs and csus now the difference is the rigor ucs often have the most students with the most competitive transcripts. And so as they look at students and they have 50,000 students applying for 10,000 opening spots, they're gonna look at rigor. They're gonna look at, um, have you taken a third or fourth year of foreign language? 
and so the acceptance is a little bit um, higher expectations um, and so that'll give you a, a big difference uh, what is the hardest issue to get into? What is the easiest you see? And so, as you can see, there's a ton of information. If you just Google CSU versus UC, and if you have any questions, um, I would just Google directly that question. What is A through G? Good question. And I type in A through G requirements for CSU or requirements. Basically, the same thing for both UCs and CSUs. What is A through G requirement? A through G is college interest requirements, a sequence of high school courses that students must complete with a grade of C or better. That's a really good important point. If you get a D in English, um, it's like you didn't even take the class and your application will not be complete. Anyways, I hope this helped get you started. Um, research colleges, research the college systems, and using the internet to get more information.